Palm Island is a beautiful place. We live in the Great Barrier Reef. Over 3,100 indigenous residents. Uncle Cameron was coming down the road, just being happy-go-lucky. He was in the custody of Senior Sergeant Christopher Hurley. I tried to get a pulse, observed his eyes were fixed and he appeared to be cold to me. Chris is a bigger person than most, but he's very caring. He's only copper bit in my house. A gentle giant, if you like. Why did Cameron have a bruised jaw and a bruised forehead? With his liver almost cleaved in two, an injury only able to be caused in a high-speed motor vehicle accident or an aeroplane crash. Did you at any time strike him or punch him? No, I did not. She said to us, I'm sorry there's no evidence. And there will be no prosecution. Chris Hurley's done nothing wrong. The fine officer acted quite properly. He just tore everybody apart. What chance do we have of any justice ever? Not only can a copper get away with murder, but the whole service come out proudly in support of that. We are a press of people! Some cameramen come rushing into the room and said, oh, we've got to get off the island. Something's going to burn tonight. Back, back there! Roger, back there! And we've got nowhere to run. There was the high probability of collusion between the police. It was all hush-hush. What happened on that day was not, in my mind, a direct racist act. Once you start telling one lie, it's like a snowballing effect. I said, who else? Who's going to be the next one? I said, what happened to him? They just said, oh, they didn't know. They said, they just found him on the floor. 